Also, I'm willing to bet that if you're trying to lose weight, you may have had the occasional food binge. And if you're anything like me, you may not have handled things well after those binges. Now, of course, the purpose of this video isn't about me. Rather, it's to address whether or not one binge will ruin your progress. Specifically, can one binge make you gain fat? And this is an important question to address because how you choose to move forward after the binge will greatly affect the success of your fat loss goals going forward. And I think after this video, your perspective on how you handle food binges will change hopefully for the better. So the first thing we need to remember is that one pound of fat is about 3,500 calories. That's why when people try to lose one pound of fat a week, typically they cut their daily calories by 500 because over the course of seven days, that adds up to 3,500 calories. So if you're trying to lose a pound of fat a week and you're afraid that your binge may have ruined that week's progress, well, it's largely gonna depend if you ate a pound's worth of calories. That means, did you eat an additional 3,500 calories during that binge in addition to whatever your daily caloric goal is? Now, assuming that you were counting your calories while on that binge, and it turns out that you did eat 3,500 calories, does that mean you gained a pound of fat in that meal? Well, the answer is not necessarily. You see, when we overeat, we tend to assume that all that extra food is gonna be stored as fat, but that's not necessarily true. A portion of the calories consumed are used for digestion, and this is known as the thermic effect of food, and simply put, it's just another component of your energy expenditure. For those of you who don't know, you burn calories just from eating food because the process of digestion also requires energy. So on that basis alone, you have to consider the fact that some calories are already used to digest what you just ate. Another thing to note is that your body also stores carbs as glycogen in your muscles and your liver. Now each gram of glycogen holds about three grams of water in the body. So if your glycogen stores are low, a lot of excess calories would be used to replenish those glycogen stores. This also means that if you saw a sudden change in your weight, well, it's very possible that a lot of that is just water weight, which is fine. And while we're on the topic of water weight, sodium also increases water retention. So if you overate carbs and high sodium foods, then that can affect your weight. And not only that, but you'll also just have more food traveling your intestinal tract as well. So you'll probably gain some body weight when you overeat, but it's unlikely that it will all be stored as fat. A large part of it will probably be water weight. So one single meal probably won't lead to too much fat gain, especially if you exercise regularly, get back on track, and keep those binges to a minimum. And this leads me to the second part of the topic. You see, without knowing this information, a lot of people feel as if they've ruined their progress when they overeat, and in turn, they make things worse by indulging in more binges. And that type of mentality will ruin your progress. The mental component of your fat loss journey is incredibly important, and in a lot of cases, it can be the difference maker between the choices you make as you go forward. For instance, after a binge, are you going to make the choice to accept it and just get back on track, or are you gonna give up? Because I know a lot of people, the default thinking for a lot of us is just to take this defeatist approach and assume you've ruined everything, but you haven't. Now, the last thing I wanna say is this. If you find yourself constantly binge eating after starting a diet, well, it's possible you have to reassess your own diet. Maybe you cut calories by too much. Uh, you know, Maybe your diet is far too restrictive. Maybe you're doing 40 minutes of cardio every single day. Any one of those things, which may appear to contribute to fat loss, could actually make it harder or even worse. And that's pretty much it. You know, I had a really hard time formulating my words for this video. On one hand, I want people to understand that one binge won't destroy their progress, and so I don't want them to react too harshly to it because, you know, I've done that and I know how bad things can snowball from there. But on the other hand, I don't want people to leave thinking that habitual food binges are just fine because they definitely are not and they will impede your progress. What matters in your success of fat loss, among other things, is consistency. If you are consistently doing the right things in your diet, one binge here or there won't matter in the grand scheme of things. It may just make your fat loss take a little longer. But on the other hand, one good day of dieting won't really help you if you are consistently doing the wrong things. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and more importantly, I hope it improved your knowledge and perspective 
on how to handle a binge right after. So if you enjoyed today's session, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe and comment below if you have anything to add. Topics like these are very open-ended and there is a lot of discussion and opinions to be had. And honestly, I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. But until then, I'll see you all next time.